Hi and welcome to Online Appliance Tech. Today we're working on a Whirlpool Cabrio washer with the LL Ferricoat. LL Ferricoat means long fill. It's the same as L Fader E1. So what we're going to do here is put the unit in diagnostic mode by pressing normal quick code three times in a row. Press the quick once and it will display the error code and then press once more to activate diagnostic mode. So if you press start when 000 appears, you will lock the door and press again to unlock. Then we'll go up and down by pressing temperature or sore level. So we'll press up once to test mode 001. This is the code valve. As we can see, the code valve is working, but not that well. Press start to stop. And then 002 is a hot valve. So press start to activate. As we can see in this video, the, the hot is not working. And that's why we got the error code long fill, because the machine is not filling up with water. So make sure you turn the valves off, disconnect the hot valve. And the first thing you want to do is check to make sure and see if your water line is clogged or if it's clogged in the inlet valve. Okay, so once you verify the water line is not clogged or the filter part of it, unplug the unit and remove the screws from the back of the back panel. There are quarter bit screws. There's one more that you have to get to kind of connect them both together. Okay, so once we removed all the screws from the back panel, you're going to slide the panel down the water hose. So on this panel to remove, you have to have something thin like a butter knife or a hard credit card or game room card will work also. And with them you will press the two clips back and kind of pull upwards on the display. go. So to remove the panel you have to kind of, well not kind of, but pull the panel forward and then lift straight up. So as you see here it kind of just slides back into place at the housing of the top washer then it clicks down. So I'll just put this pad underneath to kind of protect the washer. So right here is the water in the valve. 
So what we will do, we'll activate the diagnostic mode and activate the hot water valve to see if we're getting power to the valve. If we're getting power to the valve, that means the main control board is fine. If we're not getting power to the valve, that means the main control board is defective. So make sure you put the drain line back in the wall because you don't want water to come out, out on accident. Um, sometimes machines will turn the drain pump on automatically and you'll have a little mess. Reconnect the hot water hose. And obviously we're going to turn it on. Why don't you tighten up? So yes, plug in the unit and make sure you turn the hot water valve on. Activate the diagnostic mode. Press quick once, it will show the error code. And then hit it again to activate diagnostic mode. Advance up to 002, press start, and then check for power if you have a multimeter the hot valve. So we're getting 120 volts that tells us the main control board is doing its job. But obviously the valve itself is not opening up. A lot of times hard water or any type of debris in the water can damage the valve. So here we go again. We're getting 120 volts the valve is not allowing the water to come through. So we'll activate the code valve, 001. Same thing, we've got 120 volts, but the water is coming into the tub because that valve is fine. So to put the display back together, you gotta slide it, slide it back into place and down. And if you do have a bad water inlet valve, I will put a link in the description below to a video that shows you how to replace it. And also I will leave in the description below a link to order the part if you'd like. So turn the hot water off and then disconnect the hose and run it back through the back panel housing and reinstall your quarter bit screws. We'll also leave in the description below a list of all error codes.
So I hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe for more future tips and videos. And if you have any questions or any concerns, just please leave in the comments below. And we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.